I was out on the road. I mean, we had one of those real electrical storms, all the noise and the trees blowing. The kids slept with mama that night. When they get in that bedroom, you got to take the dynamite to get them back out. You know that. So I came home off the road. And I said, now look, kids, you're not sleeping about you. You got your own room. You sleep in your room. You sleep in your room. And I sleep with mom and daddy. It's our room. I'm not going to do it. That weekend, I worked up in Toronto. I flew up there and flew back. Back then, your family could meet you at the airport. Right when you got off the plane. I'm getting off the plane. There stands Chris, three years old. Daddy, Daddy, guess what? Nobody slept with mommy while you were gone. <laughs> They're honoring some of the talent that's come out of this county, some of the musical talent. Spider Rich, great songwriter, great instrumental songwriter. Les Smith, who had one of the great bands ever, and it just happened to be from Henderson. And when I say one of the great bands, I mean ranks with Bob Wills or anybody else. Les, is, Les Smith Hart's band was fabulous. Uh, Grandpa Jones, born in Niagara. And luckily they're including me in the group and I'm glad so. My name is Leanne Tipton. I'm the events field coordinator for the Depot Community Room. And we have a new exhibit on Henderson's country music legends that we have um, on display now. And the grand opening is tonight. And Jim Owen, who is a um, singer, songwriter, actor, and entertainer is here tonight. He's for Roberts and um, he is going to be giving us a performance. And that's just to kick off our exhibit. And um, we're really excited about this exhibit. It's a fun time period in, in, in Henderson's history. Uh, humor is a big part of my show. But growing up in Roberts, you had to have a sense of humor. You had to. Uh, so we'll, we're going to laugh tonight, do some of the songs I've written. I've been very lucky, written songs for major stars of yesterday. Not too many for today. I've got a hit now by uh, Alan Jackson and Martina McBride on Louisiana Woman, Mississippi Man. But not too many of the modern day. Every now and then they'll record one of mine, but it's more in the past. But this is fun for me. Get to see some people I don't get to see very often, and that's a thrill. That's what I'm doing tonight. Just going to sing some of my songs, tell a few stories, laugh for a while. I started looking up obituaries all across the nation. Denver Post, even Plain Dealer, New York Times. Every one of them said the same thing. He is survived by his wife. I, one of them was an army colonel who was 113 years old and he said he is survived by his wife of 82 years. You can't kill him. <laughs> but the worst of all, you should never laugh at death. But I did. I couldn't help it. Because in the New York Times, this elderly gentleman was leaving his wife for another woman, an old man. And she decided life was no longer worth living. And as he left the apartment building they lived in, she jumped from whatever floor it was they lived on. And the article said she is recovering. <laughs> However, her husband, whom she landed on, was killed instantly. <laughs> he is survived by his wife. 